Yo what's up guys, back again with another video in the Java series. This time I'm going to be teaching you about the hash maps, which is a part of the collections interface in Java, the Java library. So yeah, so before we covered the array list and the links, the linked list um, part of the collections interface, but um, I skipped some other forms of data um, collection, so I'm just going to go back a little bit and then uh, we can cover the hash maps also, okay? So whenever you're working with the hash map, that is whenever you want to store pairs of values or pairs of objects, okay? So hash maps for storing pairs, okay? And so if you want to create a hash map, all we got to do is do hash map. And then we have two generic things right here. We have two values that it needs. So the first one is going to be the key value. So the way it works, actually, let me explain this first. Whenever you have a pair um, or a hash map pair, it works like this. You have a, it's called a key value pair. So on the left side, you're going to have a key and each key has a corresponding value. Okay. So that's going to be each entry into the hash map is going to be a key value pair. Okay. Every pair needs a key and a value. Okay. And so whenever you get the key of a hash map, that means you're going to also get the value. So it's a way for you to grab the value by using the key. You'll see that in a second. Okay. But just remember, it's a simple concept. It's just key value pairs. Okay. So we're going to choose, um, a object here or a data type to put in here. So you can use any object that you want to put in here. Any object type works for a hash map. You can do custom objects that you might make yourself, or you can do objects that are within an API, within Java itself, anything like that, okay? Does not matter. So you're storing objects, okay? So what we're gonna do first is just store a simple string. So string, and then after that, let's store um, a long, okay? Because we're gonna make a phone book, okay? That's gonna be our example. We're gonna make a phone book where people can store phone numbers for each person okay so let's do phone numbers like that okay and then after that all we got to do is new hash map so it's very similar to the links list and the array list except that you can uh, define two value types instead of one because we're going to be storing pairs not single values okay so for the key of our um, hash map here those are going to be strings right and then for the values of our keys in our, ha in our hash map that's going to be a long okay so yeah that's how it works and so let's say we want to add something to our hash map uh you know a new value all we got to do is do phone numbers dot and then put so we're going to put a new key value pair so the first thing it wants is a string key because strings are key data type of course our, our object that we're using at least so first let's just make up something so we're storing phone number so let's give it a name so bob and then we're going to put Bob's phone number right here. Okay, we're just going to make up something random. It doesn't actually matter. It's just for testing purposes. So make sure you have an L on the end because that's how it knows that you're using a long. So now that we did that, we're just going to do is store a new key value pair into our phone numbers hash map with the value or the key of Bob and then the value of 213123123313L. Okay, it's a long, right? So that's how you store a single value or a single um, a pair, really. And then after that, if you want to get the value from a key, if you want to search our hash map for a certain value, all you got to do is have the key and you're like, you need to know the key beforehand and then you can print it out. So let me show you an example. So C out, I mean S out, I'm not using C++. So S out and let's do phone numbers dot get. And as you can see here with get, the parameter that it wants you to provide is a object key. So we need to provide the key and that what that's going to do is provide a long and that's because our value is the long data type. So whenever you provide a key using the get um, method here, that's going to return the value or whatever object the value corresponds with. Okay, so that's how that works. Pretty simple. So if you do Bob here, that means it should respond this number into the console. We should be able to print that out. So let's run this and see what happens. All right, so we get two one three one two three one two three one three. Awesome. Okay, and if we want to add some more values to our hash map here, all we got to do is keep doing put. So put. Let's say Robbie. And we can make up some numbers here. L, there we go. Fun numbers, put, we'll do Ricky. Um, there we go. Just like that. And so now we have three pairs of key value pairs in our hash map here, okay? So let's say we want to, um, well, let me show you how to print out a, a hash map into the console if you ever want to see what a hash map contains. So the only way you could really do that that I've seen is by converting it to a set. And a set is one of the, um, I believe, inherited um, classes that a hash map uses, I believe. And same thing with ha um, map and hash, I believe. But anyway, so what we need to do is pr um, convert it to a set, right? So we can do four. And we're going to use a special type of for loop, um, specially made for iterating through um, like arrays and 
you know, sets and stuff like that. So the first thing we need to do is provide the data type that we're gonna like use for this or whatever. So just copy this map dot entry and then string long and then we can name this set, you just give it a variable name, and then after that you put this colon here, and then after the colon, that's where you convert the phone number's hash map to a set. So to do that you just do entry set, the entry set, the entry set method is going to, if you do control Q, it's going to return a, um, a set view of the mappings contained in this map, right? So a set basically, right? So what this is going to do is iterate through the set that we just created basically. So now if we want to uh, print out the key value Paris for a hash map, we can simply do something like this. So set dot get key, which is going to return the key, um, you know, for the whatever iteration we're on, right? Plus boom plus set dot get value. So we can get a key and then get a value just like that. And let's see what happens. So we get Bob, blah, 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 Robbie, blah, 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 Ricky, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it's able to value. So yeah, it's able to get each of the key value pairs from our hash map, right? Pretty cool. So there's, there's like a couple of different ways you could do this, but it's all basically centered around the same thing where you have to convert it to a set, okay? So just, uh, yeah, I know this is a little confusing, like especially this first part. But if you forget how to do this, just bookmark the page. I'll leave the code in the description for you like I always do, so make sure you bookmark it because this is probably going to slip your mind, okay? So before we end this episode, I want to show you a couple more things. So let's say we want to we want to update the value for a key, right? Let's say we let's say Bobby or Robbie, for example, changes his phone number at some point in his life, okay? So first let's just print out the current phone number. So see out um, phone numbers dot get Robbie, okay? Just so we can see the um, the original value, and so now let's reset it. Let's I mean update it. I mean excuse me. So all we gotta do is do put again. So we can basically override it, or uh, what's it called? We can update it by um, putting it in there again. And it's already it's basically what it's gonna do is if we do the same thing, if we put the same key that already exists inside the hash map, it's gonna recognize that that key already exists. So it's just gonna replace it basically, okay, with a new value or whatever value that you provide. So if we do this as a value now, it's simply going to get rid of this one and then replace it with this one, okay? This this are different values, same key but different values, right? So now let's print out the new um, value to see if it worked correctly. So print that out, let's see what we get, and we get, uh, let's see, where is that? Robbie, okay, right here. So that's the original Robbie value, and then after that we get this one right here, okay? Pretty simple, um, hopefully that makes sense. So that's how you update a key value pair. But if now, if let's say you want to delete, but now let's say you want to delete one for some reason, let's say maybe Ricky dies or something like that, poor Ricky. But if he dies, you could simply do number, uh, phone numbers, remove uh, Ricky, just like that, okay? And then now Ricky should be gone, and then, yeah. So if you look down here, um, Ricky is no longer being printed out by our forward loop here, right? So anyway, that's a very simple um, collection here. It's a, you know, it's a collection. Um, the linked list, the array list, and hash maps are all types of collections for storing data. But anyway, if you have any questions about what I showed you today, um, you could ask in the comment section below, or I would prefer that you actually join our Discord server. We have a Discord server in the description below also. Um, and yeah, so we have the code in the description, like I said also, because uh, sometimes you might forget how to do this. I sure will at some point, maybe, because um, you're not using this on a daily basis sometimes, so you might forget. But anyway, just make sure you bookmark that, the link for the code. If you like this video, leave a like if you want to see more, subscribe, and peace.